In the process of IVF, it's very important that we give her medications to produce more than one egg. Quite often the medications make her produce 8 to 14 eggs or even more. These eggs are then matured over 10 or 12 days by giving her multiple injections and during this time she has called for multiple ultrasounds to monitor growth of these eggs. Once the eggs have achieved maturity, which we know by the size of the follicles, they should have crossed 17 millimeters at least in size, that's when we decide to go for egg retrieval. The process of egg retrieval in itself is very simple. The lady is put under a light anesthesia. She need not be under some heavy medication for this. And then a needle is introduced through her vagina with the help of an ultrasound guidance so that these eggs are then punctured and collected directly from the vagina. There is no cut or injury to her body parts. She can get up and go within two hours of egg retrieval. And in most cases, she is absolutely free to start her normal life from the next day onwards. On an average, a lady requires anywhere between 9 to 11 days of starting ovarian stimulation for her eggs to get ready. So if somebody had her menses on the first of the month and we have started her injections from the second of the month, it's usually going to be 10 or 11 days of stimulation. So her eggs are going to be ready by the 11th or the 12th of the month and we are going to take out her eggs one and a half days later. So either on the 12th or the 13th of the month. So that's what you have to remember. It usually takes around 12 or 13 days of total preparation before the eggs are mature and are taken out of the body. Egg retrieval takes place under ultrasound guidance. We put a needle through the vagina under ultrasound guidance, tap the ovaries and suck out the fluid from the follicles. That fluid contains the oocytes, which are then identified in the lab. As such, there is no cut or tear through the body, so there is no need for any pain. However, you could be embarrassed or you could have the sense of fear that something may go wrong. So many a times, most women that we come across ask for a light anesthesia. We give them what is known as a daycare anesthesia where we don't knock them out completely but we make sure that their process comes across as completely painless to them. Once the eggs have been taken out, the egg retrieval takes around 10 to 15 minutes time. She comes back and she is completely normal. Some people may feel a heaviness thereafter for a couple of days but that's because of the enlarged ovaries. The pain component thankfully for most women is absolutely zero. <music> 